she with her singing ass. Let's get to the show. Hey y'all, it's your girl Q, and today I am making barbecue Korean pork. Let's get it. All right, you guys, we got some center cut pork chops that y'all just saw that I cleaned with the vinegar, the lemon, yes sir. So now I'm gonna take these center cut chops and I'm gonna cut two slits in them, which is gonna, you know, basically separate it into three sections. Yes, we're gonna separate these into three sections and that is so that the marinade is able to penetrate the meat is gonna be delicious y'all yes yes and it's gonna also give more surface area when i get ready to grill it so let's season the meat baby because you know we gotta season the meat so we're gonna start off with some garlic powder some smoked paprika yes we're gonna do some cayenne pepper we're gonna throw some cayenne pepper in there some onion powder we're gonna throw in some Italian seasoning because y'all know how I am about my herbs. We're gonna throw in some toasted sesame seed oil, some rice vinegar, and it's seasoned rice vinegar, just a couple taps. We're gonna throw in some soy sauce. Yes. We're gonna also throw in a little fish sauce. Now these flavors are going to marry beautifully. We're gonna throw in some Maggie seasoning, some mirin, Yes, honey, and some fresh black pepper. And y'all know how I feel about fresh black pepper. Y'all know it's gonna be some fresh black pepper in the mix, period. Okay, let's get some fresh black pepper in there. And now, I pulled it in a little bit closer because I want you guys to see this part of it. Now we're gonna take some uh, apricot preserves and that is going to not only impart a beautiful sweetness to this um, to this marinade but it's also going to help make a basis for a sauce and now we're going to add in some no taste red gel color dye right I got that idea from Quang Tran thank you dude like you really have a lot of great ideas yeah that's what's up you know what I'm saying? So I went on ahead and threw in some of the gel color. And then we're gonna throw on the glove after we put enough in there. Cause I wanted to make sure that it really, you know, had a dramatic effect and it did. Like y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. So we're gonna go ahead and get that all mixed in there. And then also this marinade later on is gonna be turned into a beautiful sauce. And you guys are going to see that with some pineapples. It's just remarkable. Very delicious. Packed full of flavor. So now this color is not giving me what I want. So I'm going to add some more. So that's what I'm doing now, y'all. I'm adding in more because I want it to really have that. You know how when you go to, like, say, um, when you go to an Asian restaurant and they have those, um, those ribs... Oh my God, and they're, uh, they're like pink or they're like red, you know what I'm saying? And that's how that, that happens, you know, they add in a dye. And I like this gel no taste coloring because it's not bitter. It doesn't impart a nasty bitter flavor into it. It's just very delicious. And so now this is done and we're gonna let this marinate. You know what I'm saying? It's gotta marinate, you feel? <laughs> all right so now we're gonna go ahead and clean up our area our work area get all of the seasonings and stuff out of the way you know what i'm saying and another thing that i really liked about this uh about this um food coloring is that it didn't take a long time to clean it up like you know what i'm saying i just wiped swiped it on up look at that cleaned it right on up beautiful because y'all know in my sink, when I cook, I always make a hot sink full of hot water. You know what I'm saying? With bleach, soap, so we can keep it clean and keep it moving, y'all. Period. <laughs> All right, one more again. One more for the one more. And now we got our hot grill. A very hot grill. <laughs> and we are going to start placing our meat, okay? Yes, and on this grill, I did add some oil. Of course, the grill was already seasoned, but I sprayed it with a little avocado and coconut oil because they have very high smoke points, and it's a lot easier to get all of the surface area 
of the grill pan as opposed to pouring oil in. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can really hit the corners and in between the grates and all of that. Yes, you take some, you know, some love and care and place that meat properly. And we're just going to leave it alone. It's doing what it's supposed to do. So we're going to let it do exactly what it's doing. We're going to leave that alone. Let it grill up. You know what I'm saying? And look at this. Come on, let's flip it. Ooh, I know y'all see these grill marks. I know. I know you see. I know you see it. I know you see it. Look at those damn grill marks, right? Those joints is beautiful. Look at that. Now, to begin the sauce. Really, it's just the marinade, and then I added some pineapples. You know what I'm saying? And let that cook on down, and some sesame seeds. Boom. It was already it was already put together. It was already doing what it was supposed to do. But you want to cook it because it had raw pork in it. <laughs> Period. That's it. It had raw pork in it. So you have to cook it in order to, you know, make sure that it's healthy. And then I added a little soy sauce. You know what I'm saying? And just a little Maggie. Just a little tap tap of that. Because that flavor is going to condense anyway. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, it was just so beautiful. And I chose not to smash or mush these pineapples because the juice is going to extract naturally. I didn't have to do too much to it to get it to, you know, get juicy, period. So now look at that. Flipped it again. Look at those beautiful grill marks. Oh my God, I wish y'all could smell this. I really do. I wish y'all could, and like, just do the recipes, and then y'all can enjoy it, and then you can give me the feedback like, Q, I tried your recipe, girl, and I loved it. You know what I'm saying? Man, let's, let's, let's work together here to get y'all fed some really delicious food, and it feels good to be able to create stuff like this. Now, let's look at the plate up. Ooh. Oh my goodness, this food was so good. And I remember eating this and it just tasted so fabulous. It was just so many different points were made. Points were made, flavors were achieved, okay? Juiciness, look at this. That's a beautifully cooked piece of pork. Like, and to be honest, I don't, I, I I went through a whole period of where I just would not even eat pork. You know what I'm saying? But you know, um, as my eating health, as my eating habits got healthier and stuff like that, it got a lot easier to you know um, eat lean meats. Look at that! Ooh, spazzing because it's so damn delicious. Now I'm gonna cut a piece of that pineapple and eat it with that pork. Oh my god! Now watch this, y'all. Stop playing. Look at that. Stop playing. I'm talking about so many different flavors just popping all over the place. Do you hear me? Very delicious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well executed. Just done. Done the way it's supposed to be done. And then I, you guys see those side dishes those potatoes and the asparagus and stuff i'm gonna be coming out with another video to show you guys the recipes for those as well because i know sometimes you guys want to spice it up do something a little different you know what i'm saying and you want to see a different way of putting your thing together and that's cool nothing's wrong with looking for new ways to do things you know what i'm saying ways like i said to take something that could be mundane and turning it into something that's just amazing and fabulous and that's fun this is fun y'all with the main ingredient being love period you get what i'm saying you know and just enjoying life and in, and just enjoying different flavors and that's amazing absolutely amazing period all right, y'all, thanks for coming through once again and vibing with your girl Q. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. And if you guys like this art, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, hit that subscribe button so you can subscribe to your girl. Matter of fact, make sure you hit that notification bell 
so you don't miss any of the freshness coming from the Fresh Squad. Yes, yes, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, y'all. To the beach, y'all. To the, to the beach, y'all. <laughs> another wonderful recipe, another amazing video. I am so glad that y'all decided to come through and vibe with your girl. Cute. That's me, baby. All right, y'all, period. So, today's me message with the meal, because you know it's going to be a message with the meal. And today's message with the meal is, it's okay to celebrate your wins, no matter how big or no matter how small they are, or no matter how small they may seem to, you know what I'm saying, to yourself or other people, celebrate your wins, okay? There is nothing wrong with that. I always say that my biggest competition in life, my only competition in life, is myself. The woman that I look at in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be better than who I was 15 years ago. I'm trying to be better than who I was 15 minutes ago. It's always a, a process of learning, unlearning, unlearning, learning. You know what I'm saying? So never allow yourself to be put in a place to where you can't celebrate Everything that you survived through, everything that you have, you know what I'm saying, learned, everything that you are, you know what I'm saying, everything that you've unlearned, you know what I'm saying, because those are the ways that you break generational curses, those are the ways that you build generational wealth, and I'm not just talking about mon monetary wealth, I'm talking about wealth of character, wealth of actual spiritual uh, growth and alignment, you know what I'm saying, I'm doing the work right now, you know what I'm saying, and it's not the easiest shit in the world. Y'all, this shit ain't easy at all. You feel me? I'm never gonna get up here in front of y'all and play crazy like, oh, everything is just, oh, everything is just peaches and roses and crazy. Like, no, that's not how life actually goes. We go through real things. And I just really want you guys to understand that you are not alone. And it's okay to celebrate when life turns that corner and you're winning and you're doing well for yourself. Whatever that looks like. Your winning and somebody else's win may look different, but it's still your win. And that doesn't make it less, you understand? That makes it yours. You feel me? And so once you realize that, okay, my only competition is myself. And I can be free to be me because I'm authentic in my movement. I am who I am. And that doesn't mean that, oh, I'm, you know, because I'm not, I'm not the type that values. Oh, I'm stuck in my ways. That's just the way that I am. Like, nah, in certain things, yeah, especially when it comes to dignity, integrity, character, you know what I'm saying? I'm very much so stuck in those ways. But when it comes to understanding how the world shifts and how it moves, we must be like water. You feel me? Like my boy Bruce Lee say, y'all gonna hear me say this multiple times, be like water. You understand? You know what I mean? Sometimes you have to be able to just allow yourself spiritually to flow. It's a lot of people that are just just stuck and constipated. And I'm not talking about in a good way. I'm talking about like they're emotionally compacted. So you got to start working through those issues and those traumas in order to be able to let it flow. You know what I'm saying? In order to be able to speak your needs. In order to be able to say what it is that you actually want out of life and mean it. You know what I'm saying? Regardless to what other people may think, this, that, whatever. Once you're able to identify who you are for yourself and you get that deep knowing, you know what I'm saying? Once you have that, that can never be taken away from you. So celebrate your growth. Celebrate the wins. Y'all, I just like, it's been beautiful. I had, a, I set a goal for the whole year and I had marker points throughout the year. I'm already reached, I've already reached May's goals for my subscriber count. You know what I'm saying? And it may not seem like so much to another person, you know what I'm saying? But to me, it means a lot. It means a whole lot. I'm always going to be grateful for where I'm at and where I'm going because I know that I'm on a solid path. You get what I'm saying? And that's not to say that anybody else is not. It's just what I got going on does not even involve anybody else in that regard. You get what I'm saying? Like, you become uh, able to rise above the bullshit. You know, you begin to rise above the hamster wheel. You begin to rise above the rat race. You get what I'm saying? And once you get to that point of enlightenment, oh man, the world is literally your oyster. You feel me? The world is literally 
if the universe, all of that is going to bend to your will because you, your heart is right. When your heart is in the right place, when you are moving in your mind, like I said, it's an alignment. Your mind, your soul, your body, the things you say, all these things move in alignment. You understand? Once those things start to move in alignment, oh yeah, then it's time. You understand? You get what I'm saying? So love yourself, be happy about who you are, celebrate your wins, and don't beat yourself up over your losses because you didn't lose. What did you really lose? You understand? You're not losing anything if you learn something from it. I learned from my lessons. I acclaim and accept my blessings. I amplify them. I show gratitude. And shit, then it's time to just, you know, it's, it's pure levitation elevation from there. You know what I'm saying? Period. So much love, you guys. And also, as always, we're going to keep those masks up. We're going to keep those hands clean. We're going to keep those hands out of our faces, period, because we are beating COVID people. We are moving forward. We are not trying to regress and go backwards, y'all. Let's continue to make healthy choices. COVID is not a game. And just because you are, because your girl got her vaccine, eh, I got my first shot. But that does not mean that, oh, it's time to take off the mask. It's time to be all up in people's faces, shit. That's not what that says. There are still CDC guidelines that need to be followed and met in order for us to squelch the virus of COVID. You understand? And um, if you're vaccinated, that's wonderful, but you still have uh, responsibilities that need to be upheld in order to maintain the safety of yourself and others around you. Period. And it don't get no realer than that. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're still supposed to be social distancing, still supposed to be wearing your mask. I hope people washing their hands and washing their ass and having proper hygiene. Come on, y'all. Let's, you know, get it together, period. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what it is. Y'all ain't gonna lie. I'm so happy. Like I said, um, there's been a lot of blessings coming into my life. And one of them is now I have the ability to hire a cleaning service to help me with my house. Because y'all know I had surgery and everything. And it's just been so frustrating. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm thanking God because, like I said, we turning that corner, baby. Once that corner gets turned, <laughs> we turning that corner, BB. <laughs> period and i'm so excited i'm so happy and I'm, I'm just feeling so very blessed and i'm just so grateful y'all i'm able to get a cleaning service you know what i'm saying i'm gonna set it up to where they come in twice a week it's a lot of different things that have really been elevated for your girl and no it's not a pca i'm i'm actually getting a cleaning service i got um approved for a csg grant and i'm just so excited y'all i'm being i'm gonna be able to focus on my healing get my kids a tutor you know what i'm saying and really just take a lot of that angst off of myself it feels very much so blessed and i'm very much so grateful period so until next time and you know there will be a next time come hell hot water it don't even y'all know i'm gonna be back period <laughs> and until next time oh yeah and like i always say never forget your kindness be kind but don't take nobody's shit i don't care who it is all right y'all and until next time bye 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 bye